my channel i hope you guys have had a wonderful week wonderful day wonderful night whatever time you are watching this video at and as you can tell by the title your girl about to be going on vacation <laughs> button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video so you guys are gonna come along with me and pack with me and learn my packing process and kind of what I do to get ready to pack I'm going to be going to my cottage my cottage is about like three and a half hours away I believe watch out for some amazing vlogs coming your way with tubing fishing tanning all that fun stuff and that my cottage is literally on the water so it's absolutely beautiful i have made a list voila it's really 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 long um this is not everything i have to bring because i kind of just gave up because i'll just look around my room and i'll be like oh i have to bring that 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 since we're going for 10 days i'm going to have to pack two luggages this one oh jesus it's gonna be for all my clothes and anything that I can fit in here like shoes um, and things like that and then this tiny little one is probably going to be for all of my camera stuff for all of my um, uh, like craft stuff like yarn and crochet hooks because I'm going to be crocheting a lot I'm gonna kind of go over and list everything that I'm going to need Be packing on my t shirts because I feel like those are going to be the easiest to pack like t shirts, tank tops, all that stuff. First top is this really basic long sleeve gray one that matches these flared jogging pants. This white Raptors t shirt, it's gray kind of muscle tee, black Prince graphic tee, black tank top, leopard print tank top, yellow tank top, bandana kind of mixed tank top, checkered tank top. Last but not least, a tie-dye tank top that I made at my friend's house for her birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and fold all those and then I'm going to move into my shorts. Now for my shorts, I have these kind of biker shorts, jogging shorts, biker sh jean shorts, ripped um, jean shorts that are kind of like booty shorts-ish. These other ripped um, darker wash booty jean shorts. Farway collection biker shorts. Um, these are really fun and colorful and I absolutely love them. Wearing this dress and I'm pretty sure it's like super small on me um, but I can use it as a cover up for the beach but I can also use this if I flip it, if I flip this top part in I can actually then use it as a skirt. I just have picked out my four jogging pants. So these are the flared jogging pants that go with the shirt that I was explaining before. Aero pastel colorful tie-dye jogging pants that are absolutely so comfy. Obviously, I have to bring my famous roots pants that are even comfier black jogging pants just in case if we're going outside to maybe like cut the grass or something like that um i don't get any of them dirty then i'm going to move on into the one pair of jeans that i'm bringing and then my hoodies i picked out these just simple black jeans because it can get really dirty up there and i really don't want to dirty a good pair of jeans so if i dirty these black ones you probably won't be able to see it moving on to my hoodies the first hoodie is my grade 8 graduation hoodie super comfy and if it gets dirty i really do not care the dress that i got off of shein um go watch my shein videos by the way because literally majority of these clothes that i'm bringing are from shein um super cute it has some leopard um i don't care if this gets dirty either but i kind of will though because it's really cute cropped gray hoodie i will care if this gets dirty but it's so cute not to bring lavendery and white um Cut a hairy and I absolutely love it. I have to put pajamas in there. So um I think I put three pajamas down. I don't even put pajamas down on my list, but I think when I was thinking about it, I said three pajamas. But to be honest, I don't even have that many pajamas, and I'm probably honestly gonna be wearing some of my clothes as pajamas too. So I only packed two. I packed ten socks, some long socks, some short socks, I have eight pairs of underwear, 
but when we go swimming on some days i'll be wearing my swimming suit so i won't even need underwear sports bras and bra i did um forget to add my bathing suit so um all these bathing suits i got off shein make sure to go check out my shein hauls that i have on my channel so i'm bringing this bathing suit i probably won't wear these bottoms because they're really cheeky and i'm gonna be up there with my family um, but I will for sure be wearing this bathing suit top, lime green um, suit. I'm loving the high-waisted bathing suits. Striped, kind of looks like a circus um, bathing suit. I absolutely love it. So it comes with these matching adorable high-waist bathing, uh, bathing suit bottoms. So one thing I forgot, I am going to be bringing this cover-up that I have for like my bottom. So I'll, like wrap around like that. I'm going to be adding this super cute, almost like knitted or crocheted um little throw over that i actually got thrifting force ones into my luggage and also my slip-ons last thing before i go ahead and put my dirty shoes into my luggage with all my clothes um i thought this was a great time to reuse my shein bags um if you all have ordered from there you know that every individual item that you purchase comes in its own separate bag and it is really wasteful but i personally keep my bags and i use them for on um, my garbage can like the little bags under my garbage can and in this case i'm going to be using them for my shoes and then putting them in my luggage so none of my clothes get dirty what you do is put them in there like that you close the seal, which I absolutely love. And since there's a hole in the actual bag, you can like squish out all the air and like kind of seal it tight and go ahead and just take them into your luggage. Another thing that I really recommend is bringing like a garbage bag, a recycling bag, for all your dirty clothes after you wear them because for me when I wear dirty clothes I end up just throwing them in my luggage but this time I've learned from past experiences and I'm gonna bring a garbage bag so then I'll just throw them in so when I come back home from my cottage I'll just throw it in the washer and that's the end of it a quick tour of it so right here I have my running shoes and my slip on all of my hoodies under here all of my t-shirts and shirts and long sleeves my shorts are all under here here, jogging pants and my one jean pajamas are here and then that um kind of knitted throw over is right there undergarments like underwear bra and then my socks and swimming suits a bucket hat obviously i need to keep my face protected because if you know i'm on accutane and i need my face out of the sun because I cannot get any scarring adorable like boho scarf this is my mom's but obviously i had to steal it from her because she's the best style ever rain jacket this one is more like a swish swish jacket but i don't have a rain jacket um so this is the closest thing that i have to one luggage i'm trying to put everything in here with like my skincare my yarn like everything i don't know if it's gonna fit hopefully it's, if it will fit but now i'm gonna kind of go ahead and gather like my skincare and all that stuff skincare kit that i grabbed is my cerave face wash my cetaphil um moisturizer and sun sun screen and then my cetaphil moisturizer my nose like my nose stuff so then it moisturizes my nose my toothpaste and toothbrush um i can actually pack this for real because i have a separate toothpaste and toothbrush that um i use that i can use i'm gonna bring this headband for maybe um uh, to hold back my bangs for some reason because i actually use this one a lot um a spray bottle has no water in it because i do not want it leaking so then i can like spray my hair if i need to Bio oil for my scars for my acne, deodorant, a shaver, and my pop pimping pop, my popper pimple my pimp pimple popping tools. <laughs> so um I can pop my pimples if I have anything. I 
don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am also bringing a hairbrush. I went ahead and used one of my sheen bags to put all my products in because just in case if one kind of leaks, I don't want to get it all in my um, luggage and all over my yarn and that stuff. And it's super easy to just put in here and it keeps everything together and nice and clean. I think kind of all the arts and crafts that I wanted to bring, bring my journal so I can journal maybe some fun experiences that I have. I bought some stickers to go along with it and then my markers and then pens. So I'm currently working on making a sweater, like a button up sweater for my Etsy shop. Um, and it's gray, so I'm almost done my first batch of gray, and I believe I'm going to be going through one gray, so I'm just going to bring both just to be safe. This chonky, like, swirl-colored, um, yarn, because I really want to make a cute retro purse with this, and it's going to be super easy to make, and I can make it on the drive up or anything like that if I finish the cardigan. And last... Um, yarn, I'm gonna bring just some of this baby blue because I'm probably gonna be teaching my mom how to crochet um, because we're gonna have so much time up there. Um, so I just thought that this would be a good yarn for her to kind of start off with. And then of course, I'm bringing some crochet hooks that fit with this yarn. This luggage that I have here is completely packed with all my craft stuff. I probably will add things in. I wanted to mention that this is the purse that I'm going to be bringing. I got it from Shein. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys actually enjoyed it because I actually enjoyed filming it, like going through my process thinking and all of that stuff. But make sure to go like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you um, in my next video with some fun cottage videos. Thank you.